What's up everybody, Arctic Platypus here today. I'm going to bring you a video on Battlefield 1. We're just going to cover one weapon in Battlefield 1. And this is the Auto Loading 8. And I'll be covering mostly the 35 variant. The .35 variant, whatever you want to call it. So the gameplay in this video is from mid-November. It's an operations game, and it, it so it came before the big patch. And I also didn't have my awesome skin on it yet. But it's um, pretty good gameplay. I hope you enjoy. Um, so let's go right into the history of this gun. The Auto Loading 8 in Battlefield 1 is actually called the Remington Model 8 in real life. The rifle began as the Remington Auto Loading Rifle, which was produced from 1906 to 1911. Then the FN Company made some as well. But the rifle in the game is the Remington Model 8 semi automatic rifle, which was produced from 1911 to 1936. And it was designed by the well-known John Brownie. Of course, I mean, he designed so many different guns. Very good guns, too. And it was produced in multiple calibers, which were all proprietary Remington cartridges. And in Battlefield 1, we see the 25 Remington and the 35 Remington. And, of course, the 35 is much more powerful of a round. So the gun features a long recoil-operated system using a rotating bolt. It's very similar to... The Browning A5 semi-auto shotgun, which is in the game, called the 12G Automatic. Um, the factory and marksman versions of this gun are equipped with a 5-round fixed magazine fed via stripper clips. And the 25 uh, Remington version has an extended mag, which holds 15 rounds and an attachable mag. So historically, many of these rifles were produced prior to, during, and after World War I, and all in all... 80,000 rifles were made, most of them designed in 35 Remington, the very powerful cartridge. They were sold commercially for hunting, as well as sold to police, but really not so much militarily. This five-round fixed magazine was deemed inadequate for military use, but was used a little bit, such as by the French Air Force, who ordered 100 Model 8s for taking down balloons. But despite this limited usage, its widespread availability allows it to feel especially authentic. Something about being limited to a five-round clip-fed weapon if you're using the Marksman or Factory variants, which is mainly what I'm talking about here, um, really creates, for me, an exhilarating gameplay experience. This is the fastest firing semi-auto rifle in the game. At 360 rounds per minute, compared to 220 for the Selb Slaughter and 300 for the Sabre Gaudi Medic Rifle. And if you land all your shots accurately, it has the potential to be a beast. That's not easy though, and um, I'm really not talking about the extended variant here. That's a, it's an entirely different gun, it's due to a much different playstyle. For the .35 variants, especially the marksman version fitted with a magnified op optic. Accuracy really matters. It's so satisfying to unload all five of your rounds in under a second and just drop someone. They're gone. And if you have the skill to use this gun, it is definitely a beast. And as you can see in the footage, I've made some pretty good usage of the gun. It's actually my most used weapon for our 600 kills. I'm not entirely sure why I enjoy it so much, but it's intensely satisfying to just eliminate it. a massive squad of enemies. It's such a limited weapon. I mean, it takes four shots to kill someone at a range greater than about 46 meters. And that's brutal compared to the three-shot kill of the Selb Slaughter and some other weapons. I mean, at, at range, you're really fighting to make that five-round clip useful. Talk about the visuals of this gun. The gun is awesome in-game. It's modeled very well. And especially, I'm sorry about the gameplay, I don't have my skin equipped, but I'll show you in the menu. My Bruce Love skin, it looks awesome. The reload animation is epic as well. It's either you reload the entire clip, or you reload individual rounds. And just unloading all five of your rounds looks and feels exactly as it should. You just blast away and those things are all gone. It just feels intense, and it's pretty awesome. It's a good, it's a good experience. And many people think this gun is underpowered at the moment. I think it could do with a three-shot kill at longer ranges, because fighting to make that five-round clip useful at longer range is quite difficult. You have to get headshots in order to make that pretty useful. 
but with the right player, this gun is amazing. And as you can see, I just can so I somehow am able to play pretty well with this gun. And if you're not able to, don't do it. But if, if this is just a, a video covering this weapon, I really enjoy this gun. I thought I would try out making a video covering a specific gun in the game. If you liked this video, please leave a like. If you are new, subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment, should I do any more of these types of videos? Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a fantastic day.